Hi there, I'm Tom from Danfoss Climate Solutions. How do you save costs on system shutdown time and service if you have a solenoid valve failure in your system? Well, to answer that, have a look at this video. The videos troubleshoot the following Danfoss solenoid valve types. The EVR valve family, the EVU valve family, the CSV valve family and the coils used for these valves. Completing this series of online troubleshooting videos will efficiently support you to solve solenoid valve failures and thereby minimize system shutdown and service costs. This video gives you troubleshooting tips so you can efficiently identify root causes and make corrective actions related to that a solenoid valve closes only partially. Check out the other online solenoid valve troubleshooting videos to get information about other valve failures and how to solve them. Now let us then look at the solenoid valve failure where the valve only closes partially. This valve failure is related to both a solenoid valve type normally closed called NC where the valve is forced closed by a spring and is open when energizing the coil as seen here. And valve type normally open, called NO, where the valve is forced open by a spring and is closed when energizing the coil, as seen here. Now since the solenoid valve is partially closed, we can assume that the supply voltage and coil wiring are ok, and that the coil function is also ok. We can therefore disregard this as a root cause of valve failure. So here you see an overview of possible root causes related to the solenoid valve only closing partially and how to solve these failures. Let us go through them step by step. Now, if there seems to be back pressure acting on the valve outlet, then change the process and or system layout to avoid this. And maybe install a check valve after the solenoid valve if possible, as seen here. This to ensure a correct closing of a solenoid valve. If the system conditions cannot be adjusted to ensure that the valve can close, then, if possible, replace the valve with another type and or size to meet the given system condition. Now, for a manual stem version solenoid valve, if the manual stem seems to causing the valve not to close, then check if the manual stem is activated. If this is the case, then manually rotate the stem to deactivated position. Now, if there seems to be a dirty and or blocked valve armature or servo piston causing the valve to close only partially, then the first step is to check the movement of these two valve parts. Remember to disconnect the supply voltage to the coil before removing it from the valve. You can check the armature movement without taking the valve apart, this by using the Danfoss magnetic valve tester code number 018F0091 which is available from Danfoss product store. Here you can see how to use it to check the armature movement. If you can hear a click then the armature is freely moving otherwise it might be blocked. In this case you then need to take the valve apart if it is serviceable to further inspect the valve and clean it if needed. If the armature is freely moving, but the servo piston valve type will still not open, then you need to take the valve apart, if it is serviceable, to see if the servo piston is blocked, as seen here in this example. If needed, clean the internal valve area and parts, and ensure that the servo piston is freely moving. If the internal valve parts are worn, then replace them with parts using suitable service kits. If this valve service does not solve the issue and the parts become worn again, then you might need to replace the complete valve with another valve type or valve size. Check out other online videos about solenoid valve service and selection. Please note that not all solenoid valves are serviceable. Here you see an overview of serviceable and non-serviceable solenoid valves. Serviceable valves with malfunction can be serviced by using suitable service kits. Non-serviceable valves with malfunction will need to be replaced by new valves. 
Now if there seems to be damage, corrosive or maybe missing valve parts after earlier service causing the valve not to close. Then the first step is to take the valve apart as seen shortly here. If it is serviceable, inspect the internal valve parts, replace worn or missing parts using suitable service kits as mentioned earlier in this video. Check out other online videos about solenoid valve service. Next step is to compare the actual system pressures and temperatures with the technical data of the valve being used. If the system data exceeds the valve data, then you should replace the complete valve with another valve type which can meet the system conditions. Check out other Danfoss online learnings about solenoid valves for this purpose. So to summarize, from this solenoid valve troubleshooting video, you now know how to efficiently identify root causes and make corrective actions related to that the solenoid valve closes only partially. This way, minimizing system shutdown time and service costs. Please search for the other online solenoid valve troubleshooting videos to learn about relevant valve failure root causes and how to solve them with suitable corrective actions. Have a look at the other Danfoss online videos about solenoid valve troubleshooting and other videos where I talk about valves. Thanks for watching.